Hey everyone, it's Alan and welcome to my channel. And guess what? It's Monday. We're doing a Mindy Monday Madness again. So we're painting two little mini um, kind of a sunset people walking on the beach kind of paintings. You know, you're playing around with color, wet on wet, and drawing tiny little people and then a little dog in each one of them actually because I have a dog and I walk my dog on the beach often. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Let me know if you're interested in painting more sunset silhouette or even people actually I'm gonna try and do more people in my YouTube channel here and I'm working on it myself so um, no need to fret I um, go over this step by step I talk about how the first one I wish I did something that I did on the second one so you'll see my mistake I like to correct my own, myself in real time um, also check out my patreon I have ad free videos traceable exclusive tutorials and a live stream in the top tier it's just a place people go and support my channel, which I appreciate so much. And the traceable is on Patreon. So without further ado, let's go. All right, so let's go over materials for this tutorial. I'm going to be using the little mini Stonehenge Aqua Cold Press uh, pad from Lesion Paper. Um, I'm using two new colors today, Cobalt Blue and Paints Gray. Um, probably switch between my Princeton 8 and 6 long round brush because the point in the, you know, the tiny little <laughs> people that I have to paint. And my paint palette here and my paper towels. So basically I'm going to start with my Princeton 8. Now if you're, like I said, if you're a painter member, you have a little traceable. There's no need. You can watch me paint this. Basically when you're painting like a silhouette for like something this small, it's just going to be super teeny, like a little blackish, grayish, you know, you're not going to really be putting in the colors. If it was going to daytime, you could put in, you know, like a red shirt or whatever color pants and shirt top you want to have. So let's just go over painting this. We're going to do like the two different types of sunset. One's really like a sunset silhouette where it's really dark and one's going to be lighter. So I'm going to take my paintbrush, my number eight. I'm going to play around with um, making the sky blue, but very, very light. I got that cobalt blue here. Water it down. See how very watery it is? Right? Super watery. I can add a little pants gray over here. You want a mixture of colors. I can have a little pink in there. I've got this bright rose. Play around with that. The sky doesn't have to be exactly what I'm doing either. So I'm just going to turn it on the side a little bit. Makes it easier to paint. Just going to put a little pink in there. See, consistency is pretty loose, wet, but this paper is kind of thick so I can pick it up. And then I'll grab my blue, kind of play around with adding that in there. If you want to leave a little white peeking through, you can do that. Sometimes it's good to take a paper towel, do that peek, 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 white. And grab my cobalt again. Oops. Make it a little bit darker. And you can paint right over this section here because it's going to be darker. So really kind of just from, mm, I wouldn't say halfway, like a little bit more, more than halfway this way, but less halfway this way would be the sky. I'm just gonna paint that right in there loosely. I wanna get a little bit more blue, still very wet. I'm trying to get less wet and a little more blue. And that's simple, simple sky. Right? Just nice pretty colors. Now, we're gonna have to wait till this kind of dries. We don't want to bleed in here. We're gonna be painting blues, a little gray, and like dark lines indicate like the, you know, the breaks and the waves coming after it. And then we're gonna end at the end, we're gonna have some white gouache, like, you know, the reflection on the ocean. So, a little bit deeper blues in this one. More grayish blues. So. You can take the paints gray and I'll grab ultramarine blue or even Prussian blue. The Prussian is kind of a funky blue. Let's see, we we'll add the two grays. Um, excuse me, add the gray and the blue. Mm, it's kind of a gray blue, but it's a little too dark. I tap it on my paper towel because that way I can see the color if I don't want to waste paper, right? So let's try the cobalt with the paints gray. Hmm. Let's keep those two. I kind of like that better. 
So I'll, give, I'll use that. So I mix the two, like almost 50 50. Let's see the color. So I'm going to water it down for the first wash. Again, turning it. Went a little bit lighter. It's darker than the sky, but went a little bit lighter. See, put that first wash in. I'm trying not to get into this because I don't want it to bleed. If it starts to bleed, I'm going to have to really wait till it dries. I'm going over the people, and I'll talk about that in a minute. I'm going to paint them back. Now I'm going to clean up my brush. Get a little bit lighter. I'm going to add a little more gray. Because I'm back in this area, I want a little more gray toned. Still too blue. Going to add a little more gray. Water that down. That's good. It will dry later, so don't freak out. I'm going to kind of move these colors all around down the bottom here. Add a little more blue. I can add some burnt umber in here, kind of bleed in some different color tones. See the little brown? Because, you know, you think of like the sand they're walking on even though the beach is just the water has just been there there's still some sand so I'm putting in some burnt umber just see the tip just a little bit loose so it's kind of like the sand color kind of dry brushing at this point I'm going to go back to my blue up here I want this to go straight across I think this part is pretty dry. When this part dries, we can go and put our little mountain kind of landmass. It's just a simple, see blues. We're gonna have to let this dry also. I'm gonna add some dark blue lines. So for the landmass, it can be like a nice brown gray. I'll take my burnt umber. I can mix a little pants gray. See what we got. Decent color. And just fill in this little man land mass. If you want to add a little green tones to it, why not? I'm going to add some green. Doesn't have to be brown. Could be a green. Extend it a little bit here. Oops, still wet. So it's a little green. Now we're gonna let this dry for a few minutes, and then when I come back, we're gonna paint in some deeper, darker lines going across to indicate, you know, the waves, right? And then the reflection in the people. Okay, so now that that's dry, I'm gonna go back in with my blue gray cobalt and a little pants gray. See, I'm just using the tip of my brush. Actually, I'm still using the eight. I haven't used the six yet. Let's get this a little darker. Mm, no bright dark. Okay. I'm gonna just do these lines like this. Oops, it's a little too big. Wiggle. Skinny little lines. You can kind of break them up too. All right? Kind of a little one back here. A couple in here. They're kind of going across here. To indicate the waves breaking. And then a couple of little lines like this sideways. Really simple. What's that? If you feel like this is too light, you might want to go back in and just a little bit of more blue. Not too
Not too much though. Oops. And then we're going to add in the white reflection with the gouache. I'm going to add a little more blues down in here. Boop, 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 boop. And then get that dark going across. Okay, so now we got to take some white gouache, which I have here. And we're going to do just this little, just like we did with the blue. I'm going to grab it. See, very thick, not much water on there. So the reflection, the people will be right here, right in the middle. Kind of just kind of go above that little wave right in here. See, I'm just kind of tip tapping it. Do like little dots, little lines coming this way. A line coming this way. Now, if you wanted to draw the people in first, I'm going to do that in the next one. And I'll show you what I mean. Do a little reflection. Boom. A little white. So, if it's easy for you to draw the people first, we'll do that. See the section right here is a little white. I'm going to put a little more white in here. And then I'm going to paint in the people. And then you put a little bit of white out of here. Way out here, <laughs> way out there, and a little, again, over those little waves. It's kind of concentrated towards the center. The white. All right, we're going to let that dry, and then I'm going to paint in our people. Okay, so for this, just basically making the smallest little person. I'm using my number six for this one. Grabbing my paints gray. So basically, I'm going to zoom in so you can see. It's kind of like a box shape or rectangular shape. So I'm going down a rectangle, kind of bend it a little bit, break it up. And then for the legs and the hands, um, I'm going to have the leg crisscross like they're walking. So a line here, a leg, line here. I need more paint. Little head, round head. Maybe a little hair swooping. And a hand here, and a hand here. I did like a little dog, so it's kind of like a little blob. With a teeny little tail. And then a leg, and a leg. See, that's how tiny you get. You don't, you know it's a person, you just don't have to worry about um, details. And then it's man here. So more of a box. Maybe little shorts. Legs kind of crisscrossing again. Your arm coming down and a bigger head. And an arm here. And it can be holding like a bag or something. And once you got the people, then you can do their reflection, right? And it's just the same thing, water to paint on a little bit. And you're just going to do this like wiggle. Wiggle with his feet. Wiggle and then kind of do these little lines the head same thing little legs wiggle wiggle and little lines not too big and same thing the little dog and he's holding something so just like that see how just see the little wiggles like this i know they're so tiny but really nobody's going to notice if it's perfect or not Right? A little head. They're walking to the beach. <laughs> now at this point, we get the gouache back again. And we really need to make, make it whiter in here. So I'm adding a little dashes. More dashes that you can see here. Across the little head. Out here. Kind of more cross near their bodies. The sunlight. 
see just go ahead and add in some more dashes little ones across I'm gonna have to add some darker colors here just a few back there and then more here that's it a little people beach people beach no <laughs> if you want to get like a little darker on your little green island go back and grab some green tones mixing up some green here do do so yellow whatever blues you have I'm gonna get some Prussian blue and some yellow and I'm going to water this down a little bit. I'm going to go back in here and make this a little bit darker. And I have some burnt umber to that too. Kind of got washed out. And see, I'm just kind of wiggling my brush. Should be a little bit darker. For the island. Boom. You want to add little birds, just make little V's. So, same brush. Boop, 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 boop. One, two, I was just do three. Three. All right, that's a simple little daytime kind of walking one. Now, for the second one, like I said, you can barely see my guys. So, I'm going to go back in and draw a person. Again, like a box shape. See the box? Shorts. So I'm gonna use my micron pen to actually help you out. Kind of like a box shape, a little round head. Shorts, a little leg, arm. And this, I'm gonna do a dog on this one. Kind of like the body here and the tail sticking up. A little head here. So now we know where the person is. So when we paint, <laughs> we don't wreck my sketch like I did before, and that way you can paint it. So same things almost. You can start with um, the sky, and you can leave from clouds this time. Let's change it up, right? Let's change it up to kind of clean up this area. Um, more of a pretty sky. If you want to do like a sunset colors, you know, you want to start with some yellows. Okay, so you take some yellow. Let me zoom back out so you can see better. Yellows and the same pink. I used a uh, bright rose. So we can put some colors in here. Let's try it off the yellow first. Turning it again. Ooh, that's a little bright, so I'm going to water this down. Like, don't worry about this because this is going to get painted a different color. Some yellow. Add that bright rose, it gets a little orangey. Get the pink in there. Actually, this is the opera color, not bright rose. I kind of two of them together. I have to get a new palette. But you know, get a pink in there. I'm leaving a little white space too. So I would do the yellow down here and then the pink kind of going up here and then the blues because of the yellow and the blues, you're gonna get like green. It's going to get the cobalt up in here. I'm watering this down. Leaving some white space for the clouds. Now, if I didn't leave white space, I can just take my paper towel and just do that. I'll show you that in a second. So I'll just go in here. I'll fill it in. Getting a little bit brighter than the last one. I'm gonna go in here. See if it, see when the yellow hits the blue, it can get a little green. Now you can wait till it dries, and it won't do that. So if you want clouds, take a tiny little piece of your <clears throat> your paper towel, scrunch it up, and remove the paint. You want to do this fairly quickly. See, I'm seeing the twisting, and you get like the coolest perfect clouds. Huh. <laughs> pretty easy right no well it is 
just lifting up the paint. So now we got a little mess going here. So I'm going to go back in and add a little pink. Or I can lift up the paint with my paintbrush. See how I just did that? And I can add a little orange kind of tones by using the pink and yellow. Or even orange itself. I have a brilliant orange over here. I'm on the stone. Ah, still wants to be yellow. So I'm going to have to add yellow to make that orange. There we go. Just really this kind of fun, bright, sunsetty colors. I'm tapping it up in here. Kind of a reflection would be up in there. That bright orange. Now, this section you can add, you can take your paper towel again, roll it in a little ball. Like the sun's coming from here, just kind of lift up that color. Right? Different ways to play around with it. And you have to wait till it dries to go back in and use the blue. Otherwise, it's a muddy mess. <laughs> And we don't want a muddy mess. I'm going back and adding a little more orange. Just doing these little lines. So it's really fun to play with the small, the small um, paper, piece of paper. By the way, I sorry I never mentioned this, but I just did like a little island kind of mound here, similar to the one we did before, but bigger. So the, the horizon line of the beach, whatever, is kind of like out here. I'm just taking the brush and we're playing with the paint. No need to get fretted. So I need to take the blue, the cobalt blue, water it down a little bit. And you can play with adding a little bit more of that tone up in here above the clouds to really highlight the cloud a little more. So I'm just going to wiggle that. And now you can really see the clouds. Just go back in and add that blue. Right around the clouds that you formed by lifting up the paint. See? Now you can really see them. And same thing on the bottom here. Just add a little more blue. So I'm having an issue with filming with my camera dying, um, overheating, I don't know. And I don't use my actual camera because it's a longer process and I would make less videos to get out. So um, I went back over the area that was around the clouds with blue, if you missed that, and then just threw in some blue in between in here. It's up to you guys. You can just do all the blue like I did the first one. And like I said, I put pen, pen that in so you can just figure out. Now the ocean's going to be here. I'm just going to clean up some of this mess I have here. But again, make the colors the way you want them. I'm mixing the cobalt and the paint's gray. And it would kind of be like over in here. So I'm just taking the brush and wiggling it back and forth here. The ocean. When that dries, we'll go back in and we'll add in some deeper tones. I'm going to leave it white here. Again, this little mountain area, area can be like brown with a little bit of the green. It can be just be brown itself. I'm going to add some burnt umber, a little red here. It's getting too green. Paint's gray. Like a nice brownish tone. It can be dark too because it's sunset. I get this color just right. So same thing, just a little bit bigger around. And a little bit lighter here because I made him kind of stick up in this area. So you want to be able to see him. So I'm going to make this a little bit lighter. Maybe darker back this way. Coming out. See, and grab the browns and a little burnt paint's gray. So I'm making it darker towards the top, a little bit lighter on the bottom, a little bit darker down here. So that's the first kind of like mountain. 
And then we can do some other ones back here. When we just wait till this one dries, you know, if you want to add some greens, again, feel free. If you want to make it more green, I'm going to make this green, my yellow, yellow in blue. I'm going to add some yellow in here. Put a little green touches in there. Boom. So down here, we're going to do blues with some browns again and leave some light colors. So I've got the cobalt, right? A little bit of pan's gray here again. I'm just going to do some simple washes like this. Holding it on its side. I'm leaving white for a reason because I don't want to cover all of it. I go here where the people are and the little dog. Just gonna go like this, leaving all this white in here. Somewhere in here. Going back here with the blue, making it a little bit darker. I'm gonna add some ultramarine blue. Add a little darker shade. Here we can have a reflection of the yellow. I probably should do the yellow first, but the yellow orange, but it doesn't matter. You can wait till this dries and play around with that also. I'm just gonna add a little yellow, a little orange that we had here, kind of reflecting the sky onto the water. A little bit of pink kind of tones. Put a little bit out this way. That's why I left that white, you see. And we can add some deeper color in here. I would have the deeper color kind of going across. Like this. And in here, we're going to make it darker over in here too. Leaving a little bit of white. A little bit of gray. So here's a little white, but I'm going to make it more gray. So I've got my pans gray and watering it down. Just going in here like this. Getting a little bit darker with the gray, not with blue. And again, this little bright really down here. You can add some pans gray. You can make it a little bit brighter. A little bit darker down here. It's up to you. All right, so we're taking the pans gray and that cobalt. This is still kind of wet. And do like a little line going across here. See how wet that is. That's still wet, but we're trying to do like the little highlights in the water, little lines here and on the edge of the water. And little lines here. It's just kind of like edging out this water. So I'm adding more pans gray and more cobalt back here, a little bit darker still. See that? And while this stuff is drying, I'm gonna go back in here and add some of that too over here. It's darker. Don't hit every section. Just leave some space like with the lighter tones if you can. Okay. And then we're going to wait till this dries and come back and then just do the reflections of the people. All right, so now, all right, so now let's dry. I'm going to zoom in a little more. Get the same pans gray and uh, cobalt blue, a little darker here. We're just going to start to do the reflection of the people and the ocean. Sorry, I'm mixing up my color. There's little lines here, kind of going here right over that light pinky kind of color that we did. Remember, get it a little bit darker. So you get those two colors, pants gray and cobalt. We're just doing some simple lines. Get it even darker with the gray right in here. Leaving some of that white space. See, squint your eye, go across here. And I'm just going to do a little couple of lines going this way and this way. Basically, this side's going to be darker. I'm just leaving a little bit of line. Boom. 
Boom. We can take that same gray, water it down a little bit. Oh, mine's a little too dark. Kind of go like in here. Just adding some more darker tones. Okay. Now the mountains, we can do the same. We can do, add green or brown. Um, I'm going to just lighten it up a little bit. Water it down. Add another mountain in the background. So I'm taking my brown, watering it down. There's another one back here. Another land mass, basically. And you can add another one really lightly back here. Once this one dries, I'm kind of doing it. Or don't have any at all. You can make it like a purple color too. Be kind of pretty. So the same premise for the same scenario of the people I did before. I kind of drew them in. Now I know where to go, right? <laughs> that might help if you have the little marker. So now I put his body in here and his little shorts. What, no no crisscross legs this time. It's a head, it's the arm, and there's the little doggy with the little tail sticking up. Now, again, down, and you can have his legs kind of coming here, and then you're reflecting it. I'm trying to wiggle, wiggle the body, just like that. Wiggle the doggy body with the dark color. Wiggle, wiggle. Right? And that's the reflection of the people. Oh, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger here. And you can kind of fill in some of this over here if you want. I'm going to go back in and fill some of this in. It's more like the dark, you know, night kind of colors coming in. This is the ocean. The sun's really setting. I put a little more blues in here. It's up to you how you want to do it. It's just a different way of doing the sunset. I might I might have gone overboard in here. If you do that, you just go and add some gouache again and lighten it up. See? That's why I love my gouache. You can kind of just lighten it up a little bit. And there's our <laughs> guy and this guy with the dog on this one, a couple with the dog on the other one. But this guy, mm, I might go back in. I might go back in and add some pink. I know. I'm, I might just ruin it. <laughs> Let's see. I'm just touching some pink. Mm-hmm. I like that. And you can always go back in later, by the way, if you wanted more clouds with the gouache. Nobody says you can't do that. See? I can go back and add some white clouds. Right above that blue area over in here. Just more tricks you guys can play with with the gouache that you have. See, I'm going to go back in here and add some clouds. Just felt like it needed something in that area. I don't know what's bogging me. And if you can fix some of that white here, you can do a little white reflection again. Going across. See? Dry brush. Minimal water. It gets that really kind of cool look. Just a teeny bit of the gouache. That's kind of dry brush. And you've got that twilight sunset. Voila!
All right, so then there's, the, there's that one and there's this one. Play around with it. I know when I learned this one, when I, was like, I, I do my videos in real time. Sorry, that's how I am. So um, I learned from my mistake that I would rather do the pen mark, put it down first where the people are going to go, and then paint it later. Unless you can, you know, figure it out later. You can draw it with the pencil. I think it's easier, the pen. You're going to paint right over it anyway. So there we go. There's our little sunset with people in it. It's kind of fun. Mini watercolor. And I think right here it's a little too white on this section. So I'll just go back in. Right? It looks a little too white in here. And add this little line. It's going to help it. It's looking a little too white. There we go. And that's that. So I hope you guys enjoy this mini Monday madness. You know, play around with everything. Once you put the clouds in there, you can go back in with some blue undertones underneath the gouache. You can do this. See how I'm just tapping in the blue? All these little tricks. And the cobalt, you can go back in here, even get more intense. See, I'm just doing a little couple taps. Nothing special. I didn't put any birds in this one, but I could have. And I could have changed the little mountain a little bit darker on this section. All these little things. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for stopping by my channel. Have fun. Now, this one kind of washed out a little bit. Um, my little, oops, um, silhouette. So what I will try and do next time is do like more of a one-tone wash and then go back and put the people in. So there you go. Take care. Have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And have a great day.